All right, so you need a laptop for your graphic design, business, side hustle, whatever it is, and you can't afford to ball out and go buy a two, $3,000 laptop. Well, good news, you found this video because I got a list for you of the seven best budget laptops that you can get for your business as a freelance designer. And I put this all together for you. Every single one of these is less than a thousand dollars. And so these are the laptops that I would personally buy if I was on a very, very tight budget. And I'm talking like as low as under 200 bucks. If I was on a tight budget, these are the ones that I would consider. They're gonna come with their ups and downs. I'm not gonna have time to talk about that, but I'm gonna tell you which laptops I would highly consider is if you're trying to stay under that $1,000 price point, and these are gonna be a great list for you to be able to get you started. I have a good understanding of computers because I've been using them for a long, long, long time, since like 97. I've been actively using a computer and I know a lot about computers, I've built computers, but I am not the ultimate expert on computers and some of your comments in the past have showed me that. So I just wanted to start by saying you may have a difference in opinion. You may be an Apple person, you may be a PC person, but I'm gonna give you some good options on both sides here to try to stay under that thousand dollar mark for your computer. I based my decision on three things, and these are what you need to be thinking about while I'm listing out these computers. The first one was obviously budget and price. This is an important factor if you're trying to stay under the thousand dollar mark and you're working on a limited budget from 200 to a thousand bucks. Let me first start by saying you're not gonna find anything less than really 200 bucks that's actually gonna work for what you need, but the 180, 190 dollars all the way up to about 900 dollars, you can find some decent computers in there and that's the list that I put together. So budget was the first consideration. The second consideration, and this is very important, is the ease of use and the experience of that computer. There are some computers out there that I would never rep just because of the brands that they are. I just feel like they have a terrible user experience in terms of the quality, the keyboard, just the overall design of these computers. And so I would never recommend them. So the ones I'm putting on there, I took that into consideration as well. The third piece is the technology itself as what is coming in the computer, the processor, the RAM, the graphics cards, all of those things. Like I said, this is not gonna be a long enough video to go deep into all seven and all the specs that every single one of those have. So you're gonna have to do your own research on that. But I can tell you, you wanna have enough RAM, enough of a graphics card and a fast enough processor so that the computer isn't so slow that it's slowing your jobs down. And one of these computers is on that lower end, but it's an option. And if you absolutely have to get something, this is gonna be an option for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna talk about the seven budget laptops, but first I wanna know what kind of computer do you currently have? Are you using a desktop? Are you using a laptop? Are you using a nice Apple? Are you using something cheap? Are you looking to change what you're getting? Or maybe you're just looking for a second laptop. I don't know, but hopefully you're using a laptop now, or maybe you're just using a tablet and you're looking to go to a laptop to take your graphic design career more seriously. And if that's the case, you're watching the perfect video for that. So let's go ahead and jump into the seven laptops. Laptop number one is the Lenovo Flex 5. It's a 14 inch two in one laptop. I put this one on the list because not only is it just under 700 bucks, but it's got the two in one feature. And this is great to have the pen, to be able to draw, sketch things. As a graphic designer, having the pen and being able to draw on your laptop is a really neat feature. And these things are pretty fast. This one was actually a good laptop for the good price. And it had some really good specs in there. You can see that when you click on the link. Down in the description, I'm gonna link every single one of these videos to the product themselves, so you can click on it, and if you find the one that you love, you can buy it. That's the first laptop, is the Lenovo Flex 5. The second laptop, and of course I had to make this part of the list, is a 2020, because you can actually still buy a 2020 Apple MacBook Air laptop. You can get that for just under $1,000. To be able to get an Apple laptop for under $1,000 is amazing. So you're gonna have to buy a year old version and you can find those on Amazon. And like I said, you're gonna have the link down in the description so you can click to that specific product. But the 2020 Apple MacBook Air laptop is more than adequate. You can get the job done. Running multiple programs at a time and all that stuff is gonna be a little bit harder. But if you're gonna run one program like Photoshop or Canva or Affinity Designer, you'll be more than fine with this laptop. And that's why I made that number two. Budget laptop number three is the Acer Swift Three. It's thin and it's light and it's got a 13 and a half inch screen and you can actually buy this baby for less than 800 bucks, which is an awesome deal. I actually had an Acer laptop. It was one of the first laptops I ever used for graphic design. It was very reliable. It was clean. It was easy to use and it was great until I dropped it getting out of the car. The day I went to go get my business license to start my company formally, I was getting out of the car. It fell out of my laptop bag and crashed the screen. 
and I had to use an external monitor for that thing because I couldn't replace it for like a year. So don't feel bad. Uh, this is important that you're on a budget and you need to understand that, that you may be at the very beginning of your career, or maybe this is just a hobby for you, so you're not ready to make a big investment into a computer yet. Budget laptop number four is the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. This is a two-in-one. This is the one that I was mentioning on the list that is very cheap. It's like 170, 180 bucks. You can get some nicer specs and go up a little bit right into the $200 range. But this is something as a bare minimum to just get you started. If you just need something to design on, this is a good option. And I went with the Lenovo versus any other brand because I just personally like Lenovo. I've had Lenovo laptops in the past. I bought one for my wife. Uh, I bought one for my family before. And the Lenovo laptops are nice computers. They are a great brand. And this is a laptop that you can get, like I said, for under 200 bucks. And it's also a two-in-one. So kind of a good option here, good choice for you. So let's jump over to graphic design budget laptop number five which is the Dell Inspiron 11. 3195 is the code, and this one is also a two-in-one. Noticing a trend here? If you wanna do graphic design, you wanna do great graphic design, being able to sketch and draw and incorporate actual artwork into your designs and not just doing just stock images or things like that is a really nice feature. So the two-in-ones are a big trend. I'll probably do a video on just two-in-ones, like the best two-in-one laptops, but for now, I wanted to recommend this Dell Inspiron 11 3195 2 in 1. This one you can buy for under 400 bucks. Talking less than 500 bucks. Anytime you can get a laptop for that cheap, that's a killer deal. And I'm probably going to buy something like this for my son for Christmas. Hopefully, he doesn't watch this because he needs a laptop for doing some music and video production. And he's going to be starting a YouTube channel here pretty soon. And he doesn't know that yet. All right, let's get over to the laptop, budget laptop number six. And that is the Asus. And this is the lap last PC laptop that I had was an Asus uh, Vivo book. It's the 15 inch thin and light laptop. You can get this one for under $500. It's clean, it's simple, it's sophisticated. And Asus makes a lot of the motherboards for a lot of the computer companies out there. They're a great quality product. That's why I added it to the list. And it's got the 15 inch screen, which is nice. You got a big enough screen to be able to see on. And for under 500 bucks, you really just can't beat it. All right, number seven ready for this is the acer aspire 5. it's got great specs you can see those down in the description if you click on the link and this one is just under a thousand bucks i think it was like 929 or something like that but this is another great option for you if you're trying to stay under that thousand dollar price point any of these laptops are going to be good but i would go for probably the higher end one that mac computer or the acer aspire these are both great options and if you absolutely want that two-in-one option then you're probably gonna to wanna to go towards like the Lenovo Flex. Great computer, either way you go on any of these laptops, it's gonna work for you, it's gonna get the job done and get you started. And then hopefully from there, you'll be able to upgrade to something legit, like a boss level laptop where you got some strong dedicated video memory, a really great processor, more RAM, right? But you wanna use this as your stepping stone. This is not a permanent laptop. This is something that's just gonna get you started so you can start making money. So I'm curious, out of everything on the list, which one is on your list? Which one do you want to buy? Which one is most interesting to you? Which one would you like to be able to pick up for less than a thousand bucks? I'm curious to know what was your favorite one and maybe I'll do a video on it. All right, so the final point that I want to leave with you guys with, and this is really important, is I want to make sure that you guys know just because you're on a budget doesn't make you a bad designer, doesn't make you a bad business owner. You are a beginner and every beginner has to start at somewhere. They have to start at zero, right? I started at zero. I've only been doing this every single day for the last 15 years, 12, 16, 18, 20 hour days, and I've been able to build to where I'm at. I don't want you to compare yourself to other people. This is an important piece. Do not compare your chapter one to somebody else's chapter 10 or chapter 20. You understanding that you are on a budget right now, you're at the very beginning of your career, you're a beginner graphic designer, it's okay to get a laptop on a budget. It's okay to not spend two, $3,000 on your first laptop. That's totally okay. So don't feel bad. I don't want you to have any guilt around that because I was at a budget too, to the point where I couldn't even replace the $300 laptop that I broke the screen on. So I was using external displays. So just something I wanted to leave you with. And then the last piece is consider that you need to make progress over perfection. Progress is way more important than perfection and getting a laptop that actually works for your trade and getting off of just using your phone or using a desktop and being able to be mobile is gonna be a big level up for you. So that is progress. Just continue to make progress day in and day out. And soon enough, you'll be buying the best laptop ever like you've seen in some of my last videos. 
and you won't have to use your cheap budget laptop anymore. And that's just the way it goes. So hopefully this list was helpful for you. Wanted to make this, put this together so you guys had some options. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.